and welcome to Vlogmas Day, day 12. Yep, I didn't know that when I was gonna let you take that one. 12. 12. Okay, so it's finally not gray. I wouldn't say that it's, it's back to normal it just is, yet. It's like a blue gray now. Yeah, I, and this is the point of the year where you're like, wait, does it look like this all winter long? Like, is this is this gonna be our next? <laughs> This is gonna be our next few months, but we're feeling better, which is actually kind of odd because I did start my period this morning. So <laughs> at least we're <laughs> at least we're getting it out of the way before New York. But usually, like the last day is the day that I'm most, you know, and that's that's the day, day we are going out. to be on an airplane, and I also get kind of, you know, so it's not gonna be good. I don't know how that's gonna go. It's also, not gonna be okay, good. so here's what's on the agenda today. We had a lazy Sunday yesterday. I don't know if I said I, it was gonna be a reset or we didn't reset. We did not reset. We didn't reset. In one form or no, 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 no. So we did have to like kind of get up this morning and immediately like get to clean and yeah. if we were gonna have a good day. I have two nails that are now gone. Should we do our nails together? So I am gonna do my nails today. Should we do our nails together? Okay, maybe. You've never used my gel stuff. I've never used your gel Would stuff. You, what, this is, okay, this is You've why I'm being hesitant. You've never used your gel stuff on me. That's what I was about to say. This is why I'm <laughs> not being like, oh my God, yeah, am I going to be doing your nose? Yeah, also? 100% it would be. Okay, we'll just get on Pinterest and find something I can do. I feel like it's kind of therapeutic for you, though. Yeah, I do. I love it. It's calming. It's mm -hmm. fine. I would prefer to go and get them. This is like one of those special things that I like to go get them done is like our New York trip, but we don't have a day like close enough to before we leave that no. we can like go. And so, and, and now I, I don't even know if they're going to last the whole time we're there either. I but he's pregnant, so. We're yeah, so happy for her. Actually. We're so happy for her. No, sir. I am actually. I'm ready for breakfast this morning. Oh my! Tell them. When tell we went them. to Target, we weren't feeling grocery shopping vibes. No. Like we didn't want to shop, so we were just well, there to get what we were getting. We yeah, yeah, yeah. Lazy possible so we Target. still have the same. Even though we went to a grocery store yesterday, we still have the same food that we had to work with yesterday, which was not that much. I took those crescent rolls, <laughs> and yes. I put turkey and cheese and rolled them up, baked them. Cause Starbucks has like a ham and cheese one, but I'm not a huge fan of ham. So I was like, let me just make the turkey one here. So they came out and they were like, just, just a tad, a tad bit toasty. toasty on the top, not like ruined or anything. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I need to immediately put butter on this. So I was in the middle of doing dishes. So I was like, Annika, <laughs> you're in charge of getting this butter. But I used, I keep both of these butters on hand from Kroger. This one is, I, I started reading the back. <laughs> this is a butter with honey and cinnamon. And this one is, ooh, it's upside down over here for me. So this one's garlic, Parmesan, and basil and so they came out and obviously we needed a more like savory moment so I was like you've got to put some of the butter on top just like not make them rock hard and oh my god perfect. it was exactly it was what those perfect. needed and they were perfect and they were perfectly done on the inside and I was like and I love a savory breakfast really like now we can eat a couple of those for lunch too so like Cheers. I'm obsessed that, that is might be my new hyperfixation little treat because stuff is just better when you can home make it right then but it doesn't it that took me literally under four minutes yeah yeah okay I drank some of my orange juice this morning it was wonderful and if you are truly if you are a poppy fan you have to try this cherry limeade it literally makes me think that i'm like at a summer at home in like 1994 getting cherry limeades with my mom she used to always take us to sonic and get these mm, so good okay i've still got a little bit more cleaning up to do we have i mean the couch literally looks the like couch, we have lived in it yeah i am i am they need to see it's it's not bad it's really not. it just looks like a person was laying there and a person was living there and that's where luna's been living all weekend actually on this as well hi girl hi girl december 22nd are you ready for this will be seven years since we've had luna no way mm -hmm. seven i think right we got her in are you 2016. sweating no your lips <laughs> My upper lip has never sweat. It's, I'm a, I'm a no, here sweater. It's everywhere. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> Look at it. That has a lot of sweat. I'm not sweating anywhere else. <laughs> I can tell I'm from a here. Sweater. I can tell from here. I'm, I'm a person that sweats, and I'm not sweating anywhere else. But what is it? I literally just put like lotion, like a bunch of I don't know what's really freaking on. me out. Usually Reagan's the upper lip sweater and I'm the here. So my, usually my yeah. like was dripping from That's here. That's why I was really confused. What's you going on? Look at you and be like. I mean. I had to say something. <laughs> oh hi boy. <laughs> <laughs> he just laid here. I was like, oh, okay, okay. Hi boy. I need y'all to know that that little sweat episode <laughs> sent me into a spiral of like, am I hot or am I cold? Because it's the time of year where I just can't figure out what degree to put the temperature on. We're either sweating or we where there's no chill. in between. There's no in between. We're either like can't talk because we're shivering or we're running around literally sweating. I don't. I 
I recently got these socks from Amazon. I'm such a sock girl. I love having like thick, tall socks. I'm just kind of short. I have really short legs. And so I feel like I have to be like very particular about what socks I wear. Otherwise my legs like this tall. I love the Skims slouch socks, but they're just, they're almost like too structured that, hold on, let me show you. Okay, these are the Skims ones and I really do love, love, love them. They're a great, like, Really, I can't even explain this this material. It's such a really like thick, tight knit kind of material. Anyway, this is just a little, look at this, wow. You really can't do much stretching with these, whereas the, these you can. And these were like $16 for a pair and these were very affordable. So I am gonna put these on and wear them around today to see what I like, see what I think about them. Because hopefully if I like them, I can take them to New York. They look so cute, I love them. Okay, I wanted to show you guys up close because I really don't, honestly didn't realize until I just put them on that the thickness of them is only up here. So down here, it's, there's like, if they're thick all the way down, I feel like sometimes they can get bunchy right here, but they're not bunchy at all. Fun. Hello, look. Okay, I just finished doing some links for Hollister and making my New York and Nowhere Christmas. Oh my God, I just can't handle it every time I see it. I'll try to link the wallpaper. I couldn't figure out how to do it last time, but I'll really, really try this time. And I will link my Hollister page with all my Hollister faves on that. But I'm getting ready to go work out. I need to do a Peloton ride. I can feel it in my bones. And I will share my Peloton name once I get down there because we have a Peloton in the gym and we have a Soul Cycle here. So sometimes if I just need to go down to a gym environment, that's when I do Peloton. So I just don't remember my name or have that many classes done on it because I do Soul Cycle most of the time. But I will share when I get down there. First, I'm gonna make my water. I guess next, Weasley. This jacket, everyone always asks where it's from, even literally mom, every time I wear it. It's from Princess Polly, and it's special because when your like jackets fold out like this, it has the material inside to make it still look good. Got my water, got my headphones, let's go. Look at both of my little work buddies. Hi guys, hi guys. <laughs> How sweet. We have this window open right here because as you can see, both of them are obsessed. But we have this window open because it feels so good outside. It's like probably one of the last days that I'll be able to do this, but Luna is, you can't really see, but Luna is outside on the couch. Hi Luna. <laughs> Luna is obviously allowed outside by herself because she's fun. Myrtle also is. Look at my girl's mouth. Oh, she looked away as soon as I said that. Go, oh, cool, cool. Myrtle's loud outside as well. This guy's not though. We don't trust him, so he has to stay behind the screen. They really love Jill. <laughs> she was having some FOMO, so she's back inside now. You guys, sorry about the construction outside. The, the, it's gonna be loud, but I'm planning our New York trip like down. I've had a tentative like itinerary for a couple weeks, but I'm getting like our finalized schedule today so that I can start texting people and like seeing other people's schedule and things. And I like to try to group the neighborhoods of things. Like I put a list of everything that we want to do down and then kind of group it into neighborhoods because you just can't do like, you have to kind of go by name, like, the area. You want to do things in per day. So I'm doing that. It's been like two hours. Annika has an appointment. And I was thinking about what I was gonna do while she set that appointment and I realized every time we go to New York, Annika goes and gets us coffee or Annika goes and gets us breakfast or groceries while I'm editing Vlogmas or out while I'm uploading footage or while I'm working like you were. I've never been out in the city by myself, ever. So I was like, wait, what am I gonna so do? Fun. So fun. I'm, what am I gonna do? What do you want to do? I'm gonna call Shannon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna call Shannon and see where she's at. I'll probably just hang with her. <gasps> Why? There's a city of 8 million people. Would I want to be by myself? Okay, Tuna. Time for your treat. Okay, what day is this? 12. Oh, it's a big one. Get back. Get back. You gotta get back. What's it gonna be? Oh my goodness. Oh, stop. Carl, let me show him. Let me show him. <laughs> She's like, no. It's a little hot cocoa. Mm -hmm. Look, Toons. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, Toons. Toons, that's so cute. Do you love your new toy? Sit. Hey. Hey. She's so excited. <laughs> what is this? What is this? 
Hold on, show them what you can do. Show them what you can do. <gasps> Yay! Well, hello again, everyone. I am back from cheer practice, and mom said that she was gonna show you guys her night routine, and I said, you know what? I'm going to as well. So, mine's just gonna be easy, breezy, quick, because I don't food very much, but I do have the products that I love and stand by, and then that's what I'll show you guys. But I did wanna do this because I've never been like to a dermatologist and they said I have eczema or, any, or like any dry spots, but I definitely, definitely do have dry spots, especially during the winter. I get them very bad under my eyes right here. So I'm gonna show you my products to help with that and what I do to just keep my face super moisturized so that the, I can prevent those. But to start with, face washes. I've gone through all the CeraVe. I've tried this Hero Clear Collective. I've tried everything under the sun and this is just what has been my favorite. It works so, so well. I've recommended it to so many friends and I just love it. I love the way it smells. I love the way it looks and I just love the way it works. It has truly worked the best for me. I also am very blessed to have not struggled much with acne. So if you just have very sensitive, dry, and you just need a cleanser, this is great for that. Oh, I forgot to take my mascara off first. Oopsie. Okay, I'm gonna wash my face and take my mascara off and I will show you all my cool little scepter products. Okay, I did that. But I've shown this to you guys before, but if you do have a really bad, like, dry spots under your eye, really anywhere on your face, this has been my most successful product. But that's really just for only if you have those little patches. Other than that, this is what I usually do in bed, but for y'all guys to say, how do I do this every time? I literally had it. Anyway, for y'all's sake, I will do it in here with the good lighting. Okay, first you start with a serum. Mom recently let me use this of hers when I was going through a dry area spot and I needed this and it really, really helped. So I've been doing this at morning and night. That might not be good necessarily, but I just need so much hydration. Okay, next is moisturizers. This is the one I used in the summer. It's just like perfect and light and it's very good. But during the winter, I gotta bring out the heavy duty and I use this one. This one just really helps with my dryness. So I plop these on and then this is when I come in with my little stone and I just go to town. I'm making sure my face is all nicely drained and everything. Oh, it's just so soft. Okay, once that is done, I go in with two different balms. I go in with my Laneige lip mask and I go in with my Tula stick. I think I've talked about it before, but I feel like I have very dark under eyes. I don't right now, it's because I've been using this. I just love using this under my eyes. And then as well around my mouth right here, I also feel like it's a little dark. So I just do a couple of swipes right there. Okay, then I go into my balm. I take after mom in this sense. Call a sleep mask for a reason, you know? Mm. Okay, last step is this spray. I don't know what it does specifically, but it does make me feel great. So I continue to do it. It does smell a bit interesting. That's literally it. I pop in my retainer. Also, I didn't brush my teeth in the video, but I'm about to do that. Pop in my retainer and we're good to go. How fun was that? It's simple, just, yeah. Now I'll pass it over to mom. Skincare during the winter is a whole different ball game. It is a whole different ball game. So this week has been like the first full cold, real, or at its winter week here. And my skin has definitely felt that. I can definitely feel like kind of like around my nose and just, you know, these areas start getting my lips a little bit more dry. So I add a couple of things during the winter to my skincare routine. And I'm just a little extra careful with not missing a beat because I mean, it just, if my face goes one night without moisture, it starts peeling back. Okay. One of my favorite things to take my makeup off with is this Elemis um, cleansing balm. It smells like eucalyptus. It's the Mm, it's the most beautiful smell truly and it's really 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 good for getting eye makeup off I don't like using so I didn't wear my eye makeup today So I didn't need to use it today, but I don't like to use obviously like my face wash on my lashes and things This is the best thing that I found for like eye makeup remover And then once I kind of get it 
off the lashes, I'm able to go in with a, whatever face wash I'm using and wash my face for the night. Next up, I have been on a retinol since probably, okay, we went viral in April of 2020. So my skin got really, really bad <laughs> right in there. And then I think it was literally like February of the next year or maybe like right after my birthday in January 20. 21 and my face was like one of the worst it's ever been and I went through chemical peels and like went and started seeing someone for my skin and I've never like had a bad breakout since. I think one of the biggest contributors to that is the retinol that I use. Now this is like a medical grade or like I go to Indie Skin Company in Nashville and I go to Kat. I love her. I would trust anything she told me to put on my face. This is pretty strong. Um, I only use this like every other night, maybe three to four times a week because it can really start drying you out. This just really helps prevent breakouts for me and it helps to eat. I didn't go to school for this, but it helps kind of keep your skin plump and okay, let's see. It's really for like textures and things too. I, I, it's just great. Retinols are great. Let me, let me actually, this is not, I didn't want to get this incorrectly. So I looked it up for you guys. Retinol increases skin cell production and it helps unclog pores. So that is like exactly what I needed for my acne. I was using all of these like expensive oils and my face just like wasn't great with oils. And this really just helped keep my pores clean. Retinol also exfoliates your skin and increases collagen production, which can help, which can reduce the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and give your skin a fresher appearance so I love let me wash my hands after touching my phone though and then I don't want to touch my face after touch if you're washing your face please okay so the retinol I'm going to just put about less than like a dime size honestly and I get it in between my fingers and I really focus just kind of like here with it I don't do any around my eye area or really any on my nose I kind of just keep it because it's pretty strong like this stuff you're not supposed to use like when you're out in the sun and stuff it's just pretty intense all right, this, I'm gonna be totally honest here. Disclaimer, I don't really know what this does. This is another thing Kat said, this would be really good for you. And I said, you know what, that's great because she had about 3 million products there and that's the only one that she told me to get. And so I said, sign me up. It is by Skin SkinCeuticals and it is a Laurentine CF broad range antioxidant treatment combining 2%, listen, I don't know. Okay, and that's about how much I put that. Next up, I love these two. Caudalie sent me both of these guys. I love them both. One of them is a retinol base. So like this one, I don't use the other retinol. Sometimes if I'm not using that one, because I will alternate, I'll throw that one on if I'm like having a breakout. But this one, I love this one. I really, really, really like this one. It is just a brightening serum. And I will soak that up. It smells so, so just like clean and delightful. This baby I put on morning and night. This is probably one of my number one favorite skincare products of all time. I'm obsessed with this. My friend Kathleen got it for me like four birthdays ago and I've probably repurchased this five times since then. This one's the Rose Glow and Get It Cooling Brightening Eye Balm. It's perfect for in the morning because it brightens those eyes up but it just feels good for me at night too. It it really does cool the underneath of your eyes like you kind of can see a difference honestly and the two eyes as soon as you put them on it really kind of like not cool tingles in any sort of like icy hot way but it just it really just feels like it's brightening those eyes up and I am obsessed with it I will always have one of those on hand next up moisturizers I like to alternate between like three or four moisturizers. I feel like there's just so many good ones out there and I really like to keep my face fresh of like different ones. So I alternate between, this is my like number one favorite of all time. Like I only buy and use on like special, I, I use this one maybe like once a week, but this is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. This is one of my holy girl products y'all. It's just, it's, it's purple. It, it's just bouncy. It like, look at how it goes on the skin. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Look at that. I mean, it's just luxurious putting on. It's thick. It's creamy, but it's not heavy. It's just perfect. Oh, it's really, really nice. Okay, this is how I like my moisturizers. I like them kind of like fluffy, not, I don't know. I just, I really, I don't like them to be too thick or heavy because if I go to bed feeling like I've got a big face of cream on, like I'm gonna freak out and just go wash my entire face. So I like for it to kind of start work sleeping in and just feeling like another layer of skin rather than a big thick layer of moisturizer over the top of everything. So I also love love the Neutrogena gel gel cream yes 
It's the Hydro Boost Gel Cream. I believe it's the exact one and I could probably use tonight. We are obsessed. That Neutrogena one, and that's the one that Kat, I like took all of my skincare products that I was using when I first made my skin appointment and I dumped everything out and I was like, tell me what to get rid of, tell me what to never use again, and tell me what to keep buying. And she was like, this Neutrogena Hydro Boost line is awesome, awesome, awesome. And so we've used that since I can remember, like probably back to like, since it first came out. Next up, I also love the Tula, what is it called, the Rich? This guy right here. I'm obsessed. This one's kind of the same way. It's just the perfect, the Neutrogena one is probably like a dupe of this one. It's really, really good. This one's the Tula 24 seven moisture hydrating day and night cream. And it, it's great. I really, really, really love this one as well. Okay, can I just say that this clip, this little clip that we got from Target last night, I put my hair like this at 9.30 this morning and it's like almost nine tonight. It's been in my hair for 12 hours and it's not moved once. So she gets a 10 out of 10 for me because I have a lot of hair to stay up all day. Not many clips hold my hair up all day for real, for real. Okay, next up. I'm about to go on a tangent. I am about to go on a tangent. I used to have the most beautiful lashes. Natural, flowy, fluttery, gorgeous lashes. And then I had years of lash extensions that just rotted them away. And then I did a couple at home lash lifts and one of them went south. And I was not left with many lashes. So I had to do, I really like during quarantine was like, my number one job here is gonna be to get my lashes back to pretty beautiful lashes. And so I've really put like, years of work into this at this point. I first started with just one tube of this Rapid Lash Eyelash Enhancing Serum. This is like a growth serum and it truly does work. It says that it would start working in like six weeks and I would say probably six weeks in I started seeing results and then I just kept using it and just kept seeing results. I mean, I have tubes of these everywhere, but I noticed my lashes were getting long, 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 long from that, but they weren't getting like strong again. So I talked to Jen, my brow girl, and she was like, we're gonna make them stronger. All you need to do is apply castor oil and vitamin E oil. So these are the two. And I have a little like clear mascara tube that I put these in like a little mixture of them in together and then just pull them out and brush those on with a mascara tube. Then I found this. I had thought that I had perfected my like little lash serum situation and I just really really am a fan of milk makeup. I love everything that I've tried from milk makeup. I saw this little lash and brow serum and started trying it and I like almost immediately started seeing results. So now I just use all three and all you do is kind of brush over. I brush over at the waterline and then I also just kind of use like what's left on the stick to put on the ends of the lashes. So then I brush. And I'm not kidding, my lashes like actually have gotten so, so much better. They're not lifted right now or tinted or anything. And you can see how much better they are. They used to, I mean, y'all, they went through it. They really went through it. Okay, lastly, I am obsessed with like teeth whitener, but the only one that I like is Lumino. And I, I really just hate wearing strips also. So I found the Moon released this like little whitening pen and I loved it. You just click the bottom and it like pushes out and then you can just like brush it on your teeth. I like it, but I still, the, this Lumino brand, I loved, I loved, I loved their whitening strips, but I felt like their whitening strips just work freaking instantly. I mean, I, I always keep these on hand and anytime I'm doing any sort of special event, fun thing, I throw these on and they really do like make my teeth whiter instantly. I like pens better. They're just less messy. I don't have to get back up and then drink water and then make my teeth feel weird or anything. Like I can just give this a couple twists, get this on here. I was not a person that really had sensitive teeth. There are some white strips that really do make my teeth just want to scream. So I was so sad because I like, I really do like just keeping my teeth. So I mean, who doesn't? These guys, seriously, this is the best thing that I have found. You used to only be able to get it at Walgreens, but I think that you can get it. Oh my God, I did my nails. How good do they look? So they were just the red, they were the other, like the red sparkly with the little snowflakes on them. And I don't know, I was just kind of feeling the all like, fire red, you know? This screams like, oh, she's Christmas ready. Okay, also, the socks we tried on this morning, they get a 10 out of 10 from me. If you're a sock girly, I'm not kidding. Okay, the way that it was normal at the bottom, how many times have I said no, I'm not kidding in this? The way that they were normal at the bottom and then bunch, that was perfect, I loved them. I did just get the gray, black, and white pack, but they also have a nude pack. You already know the drill about this. 
I don't think I have to go into any further detail. Okay, lastly, once I've got everything on my face, I just like to give it one additional little rub in, you know, if it's just like a little mix to make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. I will sometimes use a gua sha, which is one of these little guys. This is just a stainless steel one. You can use any kind. There's rose quartz, there's all kinds of colors, whatever, whatever the case may be. This I just feel like not only gets my face a little lymphatic drainage massage, but it also gets the products into my skin for the night and it just feels good <laughs> and i can really honestly tell when i don't when i don't use this okay i need your help for real i have a hair appointment this week okay right here before we're going to new york do i get blonde again like a little bit more of this or do i go back to black because i really ha only had the intention of putting this blonde in for the summer you know a something for the summer and here we are december it's just such a nice little pop. Let me actually show you guys what it what it looks like. Also, this is like day eight of me not washing my hair, so I don't really know what it's gonna look like when I bring it around here. Okay, so when it's done, these little front pieces are gorgeous and popping, and then it's got this nice little. I just and then this is kind of I guess the gloss is probably faded. This is pretty much my natural color. My natural color is like the darkest brown before it's black. I just feel like the blonde is so fun and adds like such a little fun shape around my face, you know? But this time I actually will have time to have your guys' opinion because this vlog will be going up tomorrow and then my hair will be the next day. I don't know what to do. Well, I hope you guys loved this little Monday. This was a very Monday Monday in our life, a very Monday Monday, because I had a lot of admin work. As you guys know, we are leaving for New York here soon, so we're really trying to crank out like the computer work that we need to get done. That way we can only vlog and have fun in New York for you guys. So we will see you tomorrow with the next daily vlog.